In order to have an Atlantis account, you would need to register for a new account. To register for a new Atlantis account, you go to www.orderdigitalsolutions.com and then you click on register on the top right. Complete the registration details and submit your application. You will then receive an email for you to verify a link to confirm your account registration. This needs to be done within 24 hours. Once that has been validated, you can then enter in your Atlantis account by clicking on Login and then selecting Atlantis Order Now. Once you're in your account, you would then click on Create Order. And then this is where you would fill in your prescription. So for now, you, for a reference, you would tend to use a lab slip number or some sort of reference, but ideally not a patient name. Fill out a postcode of some sort. Should be your dentist uh, postcode. And then as a product, you would select whether it's an abutment case or superstructure case. To keep it simple, we will select abutments. Select where the implant is. And also select stone model with removable soft tissue. This is the preferred uh, way of receiving models over to us in Sweden. At the end of this video, I will show you how you can find and locate the performer forms, which is a customs invoice requirement for um, customs purposes since we've left the EU. Click on next. And now we are on the second section of this workflow here. And over here, you would select what these items are. So you would fit, select what implant is placed, whether you want it cement retained, screw retained, attachment retained, or healing abutment. You'd select the relevant one. Our most popular at the moment is screw tain, a custom based solution. This also provides you angulated screw access. Correction. You would then select what material you would like to have this abutment made from. And then from here, you can select what type of case or prosthesis you would like to have on top come back. You can either have a crown milled by us in a cutback sort of um, reduced form. You can ask for a file of that cutback. Or you can ask for a full contour zirconia crown by, made by us in Atlantis. Or a file of it so that you can load it straight into your milling unit. Or if you much prefer to use your own libraries and your own materials, you can request a core file. A core file is a digital replica of the abutment so that it saves you time having to rescan the abutment and do a coping on top. It is also a lot more accurate and there's no spray materials required. From there, you can select whether you want, if you did select a crown, you can select whether you want it in occlusion or out of occlusion. And you've also got your emergence width. So you've got support tissue, fully anatomical, anatomical support, and contour tissue. If you're not sure what, what they are and what the differences are, click on these little triangle, uh, sorry, these little question marks. And this gives you an explanation of what they are. You can see by the level of tissue disbursement each one encounters. So over here, no tissue displacement pretty much means no pressures against the tissues. At support tissue, you've got 0.2 millimeters of pressure against the tissue. At contour tissue, you've got one millimeter support against the tissue. And then with fully anatomical, you have one millimeter, but also a wide abutment. But if you want to not apply any pressure, but have a wide abutment for the posterior region so that you can close the gaps in the interdental areas, your anatomical support is the preferred abutment. For an anterior case, you'd either select most of the time no tissue displacement or at least a minimum of support tissue. Once you've realized what exactly you would like to order, 
you then make your selection of your emergence profile. Then from there, you could also select your margin position of where you would like the reduction to be. You could use from some digital depth and downwards. You could mark it along the line of the neighboring teeth. You could use a measurement of the in implant interface and upwards if you're used to using stock components and their measurements, or as close as possible to the interface. If we use subgingival depth, these are the margin values that we will reduce the margin. So at this, at this moment, by default, the buccal or facial region is one millimeter below tissue. Distal mesials are at 0 0.7 mils below tissue. And the lingual area is 0 0.5 mils below tissue. And the same concept here for the emergent shape, we've got concave, straight, or convex. You've also got a margin design of shoulder and chamfer to choose from. If you wanted a screw tanned angulated axis uh, correction, you would have to select this little box. Once you've selected that, more options will be available for you to select. And this is the driver that is unique to Atlantis angulated screw axis. You would need to select at least a long or a medium for a lab and a medium and a short for a clinic, for clinical uh, practice. You could order two lots, one for yourself and one for the clinician on your first case, and then you could use the same screwdriver for every case. It, you could also order a particular screwdriver for each patient so that the patient could take it with them if they ever feel they are moving countries or um, they would need it in future. They could always have a spare Atlantis screwdriver for this case. To add a screwdriver to your shopping list, you just add the number of drivers that you require. Write any additional notes if you have any, and then click on Next. As this is a screw tank case with a crown, generally you do not need a jig to be made because the crown is then cemented onto the abutment before providing the case to your clinician as a one piece. Click on next and this is the details you would fill out for UPS to make the collection. Put in your details, request the time of pickup. For me, it's a little bit later on in the afternoon, so let's do a pickup for tomorrow actually. So let's allow pickup at three o'clock, time at five, and select UPS pickup request. This then generates a ping service to UPS to come and collect your parcel. You would also have to click on Request UPS Label. Before you do that, do print out the shipping forms first. You click on that link and under the abutment section, scroll down to where it says Downloadable Customs Invoice Form for UPS Shipments. Fill your details out. You have to fill out a country of origin and the number of units. If there's two models, the value will increase. You would have to have a value in place or they could reject the parcel. Complete with a date, signature and, and name and print three copies of this form. You would also have to send a digital copy to gbexportbkge at ups.com. Give you a moment to take that email address down. It is important that you send them a digital copy so that if the paperwork do get misplaced, they at least have a digital backup of the performed form. 
Let's go back to the actual order now. Once you've completed your shipping form, you can then also click on Request UPS Label. Click on Next. Submit the order form. And submit the order. This is a shipping document that should go inside the box. This is what tells our production site what case this, these models belong to and what is the requirement of the order. And then further down below, you can click on print preview of shipping label. So this shipping document goes inside the box. This shipping label is to be stuck outside. Now, sometimes you'll find this image not working correctly. Just click on refresh and you'll find the label appears. Print a copy of this and this is what gets stuck on top of the box. This is purely for UPS and you'll also have the tracking number in case you ever need to track the case. And this completes the tutorial on how to register for an Atlanta account, how to place your order, where to find those three performer forms or performer forms for you to print three copies for. Those three copies are to be attached on the outside of the box, preferably in a clear plastic uh, retrievable pouch, documentary uh, documents pouch, and as well as a label to go outside of the box. And then also do not forget your prescription for the case itself. This one goes inside the model box with the models uh, so that when they come to open the box, they know where this case belongs to. I hope this has helped with your first Atlantis order experience. Thank you very much.